And so they race away over two and a half miles, 15 fences to jump for the £60,000 Murphy's Gold Cup. Quickly down to the first. And it is Dublin Flyer on the outside. A spectacular jump. They're all safely over the first. Challenger to look for Tony and Sparky Gale, Potters Bay are the back four. And they're not trying to take uh, Dublin Flyer on the experienced boy. Leads by four lengths to Senior Petruti in second. Torreo rather dies with it in uh, third place. Sitting in four is Destin Destravel, the yellow cap, the outside, cheering up. And then we've got Sparky Gale, Potters Bay, Bertoni and Challenger to look at the back of the pack. And here we are at the third. And he flicked through the top of it, brushed it away, did uh, Dublin Flyer. By uh, three or four lengths to Senior Petruti, Jamie Osborne right. Toreo sitting in third, wide of Destin Destreval, and then on the inside, Sparky Gale, followed by Cherry Nut. Then we have Potters Bay, and Challenger de Luluk and Bertoni at the back of the pack as they make the turn towards the home straight, where they face three fences, all of them plain, and it's Dublin Flyer who leads. He's thrown a stride or two wide, and uh, Bertoni just a little bit uh, fresh and keen on the inside, but it's Dublin Flyer leads, this is the four, Dublin Flyer it is takes it well to this course specialist. Senor Petruti and Sparky Gale, the heir apparent on the inside of Toreo and then Cherry Nut, followed by Destin Destrovel and Potters Bay, and this is the fifth. Challenger to look for Tony, a little bit awkward there, but Tony at the back of the pack with the nose man. There's quite a stride on now before fence number six is confronted, and it's Brendan Powell on Dublin Flyer. Won the race a couple of years ago and uh, was doing just this act last year when he slipped on that turn there, passing now. So they come down towards the sixth fence, which will be the last next time round, and it's Dublin Flyer, Senor Petruti, and Toreo up on the outside. There'll be three in the air together, a fine sight. Potters Bay is a little bit novice, back in uh, sixth place. The order as they pass us, a circuit to go, Dublin Fly leads to Senor Petruni in second and Toreo wide with Sparky Gale and Cherry Nut and Destin Destravel and then Potters Bay and Challenger to look and Bertoni swinging along at the back. Fence number seven looming large. Here it is, Dublin Fly up. Takes it well, Cherry Nut just nods on landing and Challenger to look a little bit low. Left-handed. Downhill the far side. Down to a run of uh, four fences. The first ones are played and then the action starts with a water jump, an open ditch, a plane, and then another open ditch. And coming into it is Dublin Flyer who leads. Dublin Flyer and Senor Petruti, one and two. They're one and two with Sparky Gale, the 15 to eight favorite in third. Challenger to look, 130. Shot is still at the back of the pack. Dublin Flyer, 92 leads. Bertoni near at last and first at the water jump where Senor Petruti gave you plenty of daylight. Up front, we've got Dublin Flyer. Dublin Flyer and Senor Petruti striding on towards the next one, which is an open ditch. Sparky Gale heads the main pack as they take this ditch, and he jumped it well, Sparky Gale. Toreo a little bit slow and uh, starts to lose a little bit of momentum. Head towards uh, fence number 11 now, and it's Senor Petruti, the grey, who takes the advantage in the Murphys. To Dublin Flyer in second. Toreo slow at the back. I think we can rule that one out now. Senor Petruti leading then as they swing left-handed in this formidable fence. The open ditch at the top of the hill, and we look down on them with Senor Petruti leading to Dublin Flyer. Sparky Gale in third, Cherry Nut be lying his odds on the outside. But Tony has sneaked through on the inner whilst nobody was watching, and they go to the top of the hill, and as they come to it, it's still Senor Petruti that shows the way to Dublin Flyer in second. Cherry Nut, challenger to look, is making ground now on the wide outside. On the inner is Bertoni, Potters Bay is getting closer. Destin Destreval is there too. Toreo, the winner of the mile by a feet, is being pulled up. Down the hill, frill wheeling. And it's Senor Petruti who has it. Here comes the heir apparent, Sparky Gale. Green colours, yellow sash. Further left, the yellow cap is Cherry Nut on the wide outside. Last year's winner, challenger to look, Bertoni the inner. Checks leaves, Potters Bay. Oh, many, many, many in with chances here. That was the third from home. Dublin Flyer is beaten and will not be winning on this renewal. But it's Bersenio Petruti that holds the aces. With on the outside, Sparky Gale. Bertoni with the noseband travelling well. Challenger to Lucky pulls wide on Potters Bay. Bertoni nods on landing. And Destin Destreval falls. Dublin Flyer is out of it. Horse and jockey are OK. They make the final turn. And Senor Albertruti under Jamie Osborne has the edge, but look to the left. Looming 
He's challenging to look and Tony McCoy. Sparky Gale is beaten and what a disappointment perhaps at this point. But Tony staying on. This is the last and it's Senor Petrunis call. He's clear by three. Challenger to look is after him. But Tony is digging deep and finishing well. They've got a hundred yards to go in the Murphys and up towards the line. It's the outside of Senor Petruti and Jamie Osborne steal the show at the line. Senor Petruti wins it and it's on the nod for second. Challenger to look and Bertoni second and third. Sparky Gale, a little bit of a disappointment, you have to say, at these weights. Finishing early fourth, but clear of Bonham Bay. Jerry Nutt ran well, and the old Dublin Flyer continued. He finished, but he was last. 33 to 1 are the odds of reward on this uh, Senor Petruti and for the Nock family, ridden by Jamie Osborne, who gives the horse a pat down the side of the neck as well he might, this front runner who was taken on by Dublin Flyer early on, but he settled okay today and did his job in sensational style. Won the race last year, Challenger Deluxe, the spotted cap there, Tony McCoy had to be content with second place here, and third was Batoni, who made significant ground at the top of the hill, cruised, but this horse had the legs of them all, salute the winner of this year's Murphy's Gold Cup, the 33 to one chance, Senor El Batruti. Well, an enormous upset. The bookmakers roaring salt. Senor Albertruti home from the top of the hill. He took Dublin Flyer on, but Osborne kept enough up his sleeve. 33 to 1 for local trainer Susan Knox. Trains 15 miles away near Stow on the Wold. A huge cut for the bookmakers. Challenger Deluxe, the best, the best late money. 130 was second. Bertone